Hello, I'm Ben Mankiewicz. You've joined us for more of our 24-hour deep dive into Jane Fonda movies, part of Summer Under the Stars on TCM. Up next, from Paramount Pictures in 1968, Jane Fonda leads us into the future as Barbarella, Queen of the Galaxy. Barbarella was first seen in a comic strip serialized in a French men's magazine in the early 60s. The strips were published in book form, whereupon they caused a scandal because they were considered too sexy. In France, managing somehow to subdue his shock and outrage, film producer Dino De Laurentiis scooped up the rights and tapped French director Roger Vadim, Jane Fonda's husband, to start working on a screen adaptation. Their first choice to star as Barbarella was Sophia Loren, but she was pregnant. Brigitte Bardot turned down the role. Raquel Welch was approached, so was Verna Lisi. Vadim turned to his wife, reinventing Fonda, whose success had come in comedies as this voluptuous sci-fi secret agent out to find a scientist who has invented a super weapon. The scientist is named Durand Durand, who's often described as being hungry, like a wolf. Sorry. Fonda had Vadim cast her friend, John Philip Law, as a blind angel. She and Law had worked together on an Otto Preminger film released the year before, Hurry Sundown. Now, not only did Hurry Sundown also star Michael Caine and Diane Carroll, it marked the film debut of Faye Dunaway. In a bit of ironic casting for Barbarella, French mime Marcel Marceau was cast as a particularly talkative character, Professor Ping, and in an ironic blow to the ironic casting, Marceau's voice was dubbed by another actor. Terry Southern, whose screenplay credits include Dr. Strangelove, The Loved One, and The Cincinnati Kid, came aboard to co-write the script. From 1968, here's Jane Fonda wearing some of the most memorable costumes of her career as Barbarella. Through the years, Barbarella has become a campy cult classic. When released in 1968, it only did so-so business at the box office, and critics weren't particularly enthusiastic either. Renata Adler of the New York Times called it a special kind of mess, adding that Fonda does as well as she can in this one. Barbarella was directed by Fonda's husband at the time, Roger Vadim, but a year after Fonda played this outer space sex symbol, Fonda and Vadim separated and eventually divorced. With her relationship in the rearview mirror, Fonda was introduced to feminist thought and she was receptive. The power of it influenced her work in her next film, Clute, which earned Fonda the first of her two Oscars for Best Actress. The second one was for Coming Home, released in 1978 and co-starring John Voight. Up next, Robert De Niro and Jane Fonda play Stanley and Iris from 1990 as Summer Under the Stars with Jane Fonda continues on Turner Classic Movies.